Hey booze, that's your girl Lala. I'm coming to y'all um with a video on how I lay my lace fronts. Okay, this wig is a synthetic wig, y'all. One of my first videos I told y'all about this blue wig. Um, but anyway, yes, if you want to see how I lay my little lace fronts down and how I do my baby hairs make sure you keep checking out this video y'all y'all won't want to miss it and also I got a makeup tutorial coming on this look that I did for Mr. Nipsey Hussle the great all right so yeah if you guys like do me a favor and like this video make sure you comment subscribe and tell me what you think if you think that I should keep coming to y'all with more wig installs or whatever let me know down in the comments below if that's what y'all want to see okay because i'm thinking about doing a lot of different um different things for my channel so yeah so i'm about to show y'all how i got this look i'll see y'all later peace Done. Okay, so we're starting off with the Extreme Styling Gel, a rat tail comb, stocking cap, got to be glued, freezing spray, and a blow dryer. First, we're going to take our stocking cap and we're going to place that on and we're going to bring it down and cover our ears. Next, we're going to take the got to be glued freezing spray and we're going to spray the perimeter of our hairline and then blow it dry. Okay, so how did I forget to mention that I needed the scissors though, y'all? Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just poking a hole right by my ear. And yeah, I'm just gonna cut in the middle and I'm going to follow where I sprayed at. Following my hairline. And I'm just gonna cut that thick part off on the stocking cap on each side. Now, if you got little scraggly pieces, that's fine. You know, it don't have to be perfect. Just spray some more. Got to be freezing spray on there, and you should be fine. And it'll flatten down. I wanted my ear tabs to be um, flat. The lace on this wig is already kind of transparent, but you know, y'all know how I do. So we gonna throw that band away because we do not need it at all, honey. It's just a waste of space. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, <clears throat> sorry, in the color Cocoa. And I'm gonna place that on my stocking cap. Because when I, when I install my unit, I want it to look like scalp. Okay, so I'm just placing that foundation all over my stocking cap, the front part. And yeah, so I'm going to grab my wig and I'm going to adjust the adjustable straps. And we're going to pop her on. So I'm going to take this beautiful wig and I'm going to place her on my head. Yes. Okay. And I'm just making sure that the side tabs meet up so that I can ensure a proper install. 
and I'm gonna take the freezing spray and I'm gonna spray it right in the middle that's gonna be my first section where I start off and I'm gonna hold that down and I'm gonna get the blow dryer and blow it dry on cool setting and I'm just gonna do that for the perimeter of my head so I'm gonna work on one side and then I'm gonna to go to another side the next side and this freezing spray it's been oh, this stuff drips all down your your hairline and everything but I really love it though you know because when I tell you your wig is secure honey oh it's secure baby that baby ain't going nowhere watch watch what I tell you watch watch what I tell you in this video y'all gonna see Yeah, so we're gonna keep blow drying until she is all the way dry and that is the last part for that side and that spray just gets everywhere y'all this is why I say do your wigs first before you do your makeup because you know what when you're placing your um, wig on after you do your makeup you don't want that spray dripping all down your forehead and then you have to take a wipe and clean it off and then guess what spot of your makeup is gone <laughs> okay we're not trying to be looking like patches of hula hand uh-uh not today so yeah make sure it's all the way dry all the way dry and watch me tug on her oh yeah she ain't going nowhere okay i had this freezing spray look and i normally do not sleep in my wigs y'all but when i put that freezing spray on i slept in my wig for like three days and she did not go nowhere and see what I'm saying about the got to be freezing spray dripping all over your forehead. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I do my wigs first and then I apply my makeup. Another thing I want to add with this wig, I did go in and pluck my hairline some more. Even though the hairline was already pre-plucked, it was so beautiful. I still wanted that more realistic look now with this wig you can actually just go without putting any baby hairs in it y'all know I like to be extra so I gotta add my baby hairs in there y'all but you could honestly just place some powder to cover up those knots and you good to go if you don't like baby hairs you know I know everybody don't like them you know to each his own I love baby hairs and yeah so this, this wig is a bomb as hell and it was only $39 so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that down in the description box for y'all so y'all can go ahead and order y'all one I've been wanting a royal blue wig for the longest and I finally found it and I bought it with my own coins nobody sent me nothing you know so yeah y'all see the hairline yes she is beautiful So I ended up purchasing this wig like before Valentine's Day and I already um, cut some baby hairs in there so um, yeah I'm just going with my normal pattern um, where I place my baby hairs um, I'm not doing nothing too dramatic I don't know y'all may call it dramatic but it's not too dramatic to me I'm gonna just do a few baby hairs and I'm gonna do a top knot with this look so yeah I'm just taking that extreme gel and I'm just making creating some baby hairs you know we gotta have some little swoops y'all know how you know if you Detroit girl you know we we always had swoops in a D so I loved my little swoops when you had your little sculpture ponytails genie ponytails you gotta have a little swoops on the side yeah we've been doing this since the 90s
I always struggle with getting the other side to look identical to the other <laughs> to the other side. Yes, it's just so annoying to me. Like one side will be popping and then the other side I'm like, man, it don't look like this one. One of the baby hairs is, you know, a little bit too far out on your forehead a little bit. And we don't want no forehead baby hairs. Like nothing going down towards your eyebrows. Okay, that's just no, that's a no-no. But I did my best to try to get them to look identical. Okay, so the last step, I'm taking my BH Studio Pro pressed powder in the color 250 and a flat brush. And I'm just going to apply that all over my hairline. And I'm going to cover up those knots that you will see coming from the lace front so that it can look more realistic. Um, I'm not going to worry about the middle part because I'm wearing a top knot, a top bun or whatever you call it. Yeah. So if you guys like how I apply my lace front wigs. Why don't you leave me some comments down in um, in the comment section below. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I already said comment, right? <laughs> also, like and subscribe. And if you would like, share my video. Okay? Until next time, loves. Bye now.